This is TK, the Gentleman Gardener. And this week, I'm gonna take a two liter bottle and we're gonna show you how to grow some peppers in a hydroponic deep water system. So as I mentioned, what we're doing here is we're using a two liter bottle. In this case, two liter bottle of Coca-Cola. Have a Coke and a smile. Anyway, I digress. I, I What I did was use the Coke bottle um, I actually used the Coke to braise some lamb shanks that I had, been make, I had made a couple weeks ago. And uh, took, cut off the top, if you'll notice there, got the, uh, got the top cut off. And then I got a mesh, three inch basket. And once again, you can get these on Amazon, they're dirt cheap, you can get them all over the place, any home garden place. Clay pebbles, just that I've talked to you about, use those and you place it in your same, same solution that we had before. When you remember our, our video about the Kropke method, same concept here. The difference here between the Kropke, and now if we leave it alone and we just do that right there, that's Kropke. We could just leave it alone and not touch it. What this makes, how we make this a deep water culture play is we actually get one of, an air filter. See this air filter? You probably see it in a cheap fish tank. This is, you know, you can probably get this on eBay for five bucks. I think I bought it brand new for $9. I actually have a really industrial strength air uh, compressor that I use that powers a whole bunch of these at the same time. But you can use just like this. And all you do is you, you take this now and you put it into the water. So you take this two liter bottle, you put it in like that, voila. And we're gonna show it in a second. You're gonna turn that on and that's gonna pump a ton of air into uh, the plant. Now, you might ask yourself, TK, I don't understand. Um, uh, why, what's the air gotta do? Doesn't, isn't there air all over the place? Well, um, the, the purpose here is, is that for certain plants, you need to get more air into the roots. It actually exponentially causes growth. And you can actually see that this is, once again, this plant is only a few weeks old from, from seed to where it is. You see all of these roots? I'm gonna give you the close up there. You see these roots? There's nothing sexier for a hydroponic gardener than these roots. And because I've been pumping air into it, it actually creates that growth much, much more quickly. Now, certain plants don't need that much air. Herbs, um, your leafy vegetables, greens, you, you can get by without the air. Helps, but you can get by with it. Things like peppers and tomatoes, it's, it's like an elixir form and it really causes greatness to happen. So next up, we're gonna take a quick look and see it all in action with an air pump. Okay, let's take a look. Now we've got the air pump going here. See the bubbles? Those bubbles are the magic. That's how you get air directly into the roots. You want as much air into the roots as you can. And that once again, just a cheap little air pump, probably get it for $5. It's pumping air directly into it. And, you, and I, it's nothing fancy here. I just have have it right into um, the two liter bottle in the, in the growing solution. And that's gonna create those air bubbles for you and produce that oxygen that the roots love. All right, to summarize this week for you, once again, we're using a deep water culture with a two liter bottle, Coca-Cola, um, our normal solution, simp cheap air pump, and we're doing some gypsy peps peppers here. Nice, sweet gypsy peppers, lots of root growth. One last thing, don't forget to get a cover. You can use anything. I'm using an old cover um, of, a, a, of a lawn chair. So one of those lawn chairs, foldable lawn chair covers that you get with the little bag. Well, I'm repurposing it because the chair is long gone and I'm actually using it to cover to keep all of the growth out of, you want no moss or mold growing inside and eating up your nutrients. So I just use that quickly. Once again, what a great week. I hope you're going out there growing something you can eat using hydroponics. This is TK, the Gentleman Gardener. Enjoy your week.